guys uh, so I just wanted to give you a little overview on this car it's a 2000 Cobra R owned by my buddy Bruce and it's one of 300 that they made in 2000 it originally came with a 5.4 liter uh, naturally aspirated V8 making 385 horsepower so my buddy bought this back in 2003 from a guy who bought like I think five of them and he drove one and the, all the rest were still in the wrapper so he he ended up buying this one and then drove it for a little while broke it in and then ended up going to the track and having a really good time and then now it's at the stage where it's at now and it's it's completely stripped out uh, he has all most of the original parts still uh, which is cool but uh, so the reason why we we're picking it up uh, tonight was because of the engine so this is the second engine the first engine which you'll see later in the video here is on an engine stand right now but that was the first engine and that was an engine from the 4 gt the 05 to 06 4 gt it was the block and i don't remember what happened with it but it was something with maybe it ran out of oil something with the tune i don't remember exactly but anyway it it, it broke so then they bored it out and then it was just the walls were too thin so that one cracks so and now he's got a 5.8 liter aluminum block that's sleeved and new pistons everything so it's it's all it's all set up now um so i tried to show you guys the inside but it's a little dark he's got recaro seats in there um it, it's it's pretty awesome it's really cool to see such a rare car that's actually being used for what it was intended to as you know a track monster so uh hopefully once they get um this thing all ready for next season uh, we'll be doing some videos of this so i think that'll be kind of a really fun uh, car to do some videos with so I hope you guys uh, stay tuned for that and it's winter time now so cars are in storage so they're gonna be tuning on it and making it ready for the track and here is actually the original motor which is cool so it's on on display here so he took it out with 12,000 miles driven by an old guy in the weekends only and it ran perfectly so but yeah so now he's just got it there so he didn't he didn't want to touch the original engine uh, he just wanted to uh, he wanted more power at the track so he decided to go with just a different engine so but yeah if you guys like this video uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.